everyone dev walker here and welcome back to my channel please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are interested in travel lifestyle and fashion videos i am coming to you with another travel vlog i am on a mini euro trip the first stop is norway this is country number 50 so excited to be here and i will be taking you along with me we got in a little early but took a nap recharge and now we are going to head to dinner and then come back wind down and get ready for a full day tomorrow so stay tuned because we have four countries that i will be showing with you guys let's go evening everyone so for our first night here in Oslo we're just taking it easy took some rest took a nap freshened up and now we're having dinner at this place called Tuk Tuk Thai found it online it's one of the more affordable places because this city is expensive so we're having dinner here tonight we're gonna wind down in our room relax for the night and then tomorrow it's a full day and we will be on Oslo time so stay tuned this red pineapple curry right there red curry pineapple so good Hey everyone, checking in for our first full day in Oslo. We're about to go outside and do some exploring. We got a bit of a late start. It's like after two, but whatever. Here we are. Quick casual outfit of the day. The jeans are H&M. My shirt is Telfar. Sneakers and belt are YSL. Bag is YSL. And for accessories, I went with Hermes and Fendi. Let's go outside. Okay, so we are ready and outside. We are at the bus stop waiting to take the bus to go and get some street food. It's one of the more affordable ways to eat in Oslo, so definitely gonna check that out. Let's get to it. to leave the street food market the food looked good but it just wasn't what we wanted it was like all types of like Mexican food Asian food and we wanted to try something a bit more local so we did some research and found this place here called Cafe Stova more than likely not saying that right so forgive me but yeah we're gonna check out some local food here and see what they have let's do it So we are having Norwegian meatballs. Abby says it's just okay. Yeah. It comes in like a gravy. This green stuff is pea puree. These are potatoes. And that is cranberry sauce. You don't like it? I mean, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't order it again. <laughs> in Monkey, which is one of my favorite stores in the Scandinavian region. I shopped here when I went to Sweden a few years ago. I really like this red jacket. I think it's cute. Oh. 
trying on these Louis Vuitton shades. I love these. I love gold. You know I love gold. I love the stone in the middle. I like the band. And these. These are just as nice. I'm not sure. What should I go with? Hey everyone, checking back in. Finished doing some shopping here in Oslo. Now I'm having dinner at this place called Cafe Cathedral. I'm sitting under this super warm, cozy heat. That's why I'm outside in a short sleeve shirt and I feel just fine. I'm just gonna keep it light for dinner. I'm gonna have a salad and maybe like a dessert and then get ready for the next country tomorrow. Stay tuned. Everyone, checking back in. Have a very early morning flight to our next country. We are leaving Oslo. Last night was pretty cool. Well, yesterday, we pretty much walked around the city. We checked out the street food. I had some dinner at a cool restaurant. We did some shopping. It was a nice day and got some rest. And now we are about to head out back to the airport. We are headed to the Czech Republic. So excited to visit Prague. I didn't get to do a room tour, but you know, we just got a simple room at the Radisson Blue Park Hotel in Oslo. Relatively affordable option, like maybe 25 minutes from the city by bus. I don't have any complaints about it, but yeah, that's where we stay. There'll be some more info about it in my blog post. But in the meantime, let's head to Prague. So it's about 5.15 a.m. We are waiting for our bus. Um, it comes in see if I can show you it comes in two minutes and it takes us to the train station and then from there we go to the airport transportation here is pretty reliable <laughs> The express train it's pretty empty it's like nobody here maybe like two three other people and this goes directly to the airport it's a bit more of a smoother ride than the local train but there was absolutely nothing wrong with the local train this is just the only one that's running at this time so hey guys at the airport on to board flight to Prague uh, the Czech Republic will be my 51st country getting to the airport was a breeze going through security was a little hectic but not that bad um i filled out the paperwork to get <laughs> people filled out the paperwork to um get my tax refund for my purchase from yesterday that was pretty easy and then just came straight to the gate so about to board now and I will see you in Prague. Hey everyone, greetings from the Czech Republic. This is country number 51. I am coming to you from Prague. So excited to be here. I heard so many great things. So we've been walking around and it's a vibe. It's definitely a different change of pace from Oslo. As you can see, it's a pretty lively crowd. Places are playing music. There's a lot of rooftop bars here. So we feel in Prague so far. We are, we are going to the um, rooftop terrace at the Hotel U Prince have some drinks and get some views and then we're just gonna wander the streets so let's go
we popped into Desigual and I found this super cute poncho jacket. It's multicolor, one size, and I'm actually really feeling it. It's 130 US dollars. I'm not sure if I want to pay that, but it's definitely unique. What do you think? All right, so we worked up a bit of an appetite doing some shopping. I feel like we got some good buys though. Yes, we did. Like, I think we Look did at this really coat for $40. Good. For $30. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's and she, she wore it out the store yeah. too. <laughs> so now we're about to go and find some dinner. Just did a quick Google search and doing some strolling in town. And we're about to eat before we call it night. Actually, we're probably going to go for drinks after because Prague is such a lively city. Yeah. Like, it's. It's a lot going on it's a lot going here. On. Like, it's a vibe. It's so a vibe. we're gonna do dinner. We're gonna do drinks. We're gonna stroll. Let's go. Okay, so this is where we are having dinner tonight. It's some sort of like medieval style, uh, or theme restaurant rather. Found it in a quick uh, Google search. This will give like a dungeon, King's Landing vibes. But we'll see how it goes. So we'll try to make a reservation to go there tomorrow. In the meantime, we're walking and just found this local spot here. We're about to have dinner. Okay, so this is my meal. Chicken, tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, and potatoes. This is fried cheese and french fries. And salsa. Abby, what you have in I don't know. She, something she just, traditional. She just picked some traditional check. I think that's these. And I don't know what this is. Bread. Oh, it's bread. Okay. And onions. Alright. So I went to a live reaction video on my food, but I'm having a live performance right now. It's too loud. But everything's pretty good. I'm having the chicken caprese. Fresh mozzarella and roasted garlic potatoes. first day here in Prague went to dinner went shopping we went to a rooftop it was just a really really nice day feeling out the city the weather is good it's actually pretty crowded for the shoulder season but we are having a great time and tomorrow we are here another full day and of course I'll be taking you along with me so stay tuned good night Hey everyone, this is day two in Prague of the Czech Republic. We are having a light brunch at the Chloe Cafe, or it's Cafe Chloe here. I found this on Pinterest and it looked really pretty. We're going to check it out before we do some more exploring. We're also going to do a uh, sunset canal ride in the water. That's going to be really nice. And we might try to squeeze in some shopping if there is time. But overall, we are loving Prague. And I'll be taking you along with me for the rest of the day. So stay tuned. Yeah, 
Chanel. And this is the type of coffee dates we only accept around here. We're not doing the other ones with y'all. We just not. For what? At all. <laughs> no, like not even a <laughs> bit. Like, y'all coffee dates don't even be having flower walls. Like, no. <laughs> building shot and it's just not gonna work for me with the leg thing so I've been trying to do like a little kissy moment to try to get and it ain't working but you get the idea that's all I got <laughs> let's go <laughs> everyone it is now time to part ways with Prague sad face we had a fantastic time here love this city would definitely recommend a visit now we are about to head to Milan um, Italy is not a new country for me but Milan is a new city so I'm excited to check out what Milan has to offer so doing some last minute packing and then we are headed out to the airport this was our room here at the Red and Blue Design Hotel. Just a regular room, double bed, nice size bathroom. Then there's like a desk area over here. But yeah, it's nothing to uh, go too crazy over. It's just a simple room here up here's the bathroom. This is my makeshift room tour, don't judge me. But just wanted to give you guys an idea where we were staying. Decent sized closet space. There's a desk, got a chair here. So, you know, it was pretty much all the space we needed for this trip. All right, we're about to clean this room up and head out. Let's go to Italy. <laughs> So here is a quick room tour of our room at Hotel Da Vinci in Milan, Italy. Here's a nice size bathroom. The shower is back here. It is pretty spacious. I love a rainfall shower. And this room is actually really big. Got a nice closet. Got a king size bed. And all of this open space. Got a television. This cute little couch. And then we have just a view of the front of the property. So we'll be parked here for the next couple of days while we explore Milan. Hey everyone, we are headed out for our first day in Milan. It was a bit, a bit hectic getting in yesterday because there's a lot happening in this city. 
there's a soccer match there is a transit strike there is a food expo there's a trading conference basically the days we decided to come to Milan is when the whole world is in chaos <laughs> in Milan but I specifically tell my audience to do your research to find out what is going on the days that you're visiting and guess who didn't take their own travel advice and now they mad <laughs> I'm pissed but whatever here we are so we're in an uber headed to the city center to do some shopping and you know you just gotta roll with the punches you just gotta be prepared for the unplanned to happen it is what it is yeah can't do nothing about it <laughs> we tried we here we're gonna make the best of it so it's my first time in milan it's abby's second time in milan i'm so excited to be here i love italy by the way this is my fourth time in italy it's your fourth time too right fourth or fifth yeah it's like fourth yeah like we love italy can't ever go wrong with yeah, that's not issue yeah. With it. yeah i, I need somebody's trying to take me to pasatano though yeah somebody's sons take us we we, we want to go we want to go to capri yeah and and all, and all of that good and stuff Lake <laughs> right <laughs> but anyway we're headed down to do some shopping and get some food and just enjoy the city for the last uh couple of days of this trip stay tuned I am now headed to Duomo, which is the mall. Um, to be honest, so far shopping in Milan has been a bit of a fail. I mean, I know stuff happens, but no store got nothing. Like, nothing is in our sizes. They just have nothing in stock, like no inventory. But, um, yeah, it's not really going too well. I guess because there's so much going on out here this week and everyone is shopping, there's not much available. Going to... Um, few more stores to try our luck and then we just have to call it a day. So I decided to stop in Tiffany because I am on the market for a new piece. I'm about to try on the um, Tiffany T1 narrow hinge bracelet. Abby and I split up for a few minutes. She went to uh, Louis Vuitton because the stores, the lines are so long. We need to just knock out as much as we can. So I'm trying on the piece here and then we will meet at Louis Vuitton. Let's see what they have. Hopefully they got something. So here is the... Tiffany T1 narrow hinge that I have been eyeing for a while to go with my Tiffany T square. What do you think? everyone it is our last day in milan final hours yeah final hours yeah our bus is actually pulling up and we're gonna head to the airport to start our trek back home we have a quick layover in switzerland a few more hours in oslo and then it's back home we go i hope you enjoyed joining us on this euro trip 
So I will check back in once we get to Switzerland. Everyone checking back in from the airport lounge in Zurich, Switzerland. Had a good night's rest there. We had like a 12 hour layover. So we just grabbed a cheap airport hotel. It was like 80 bucks for the night. Um, just relaxed wind down and getting ready to head back to Oslo for a couple hours and then we go home. We had a great Euro trip. We pretty much accomplished everything that we wanted to. I hope you enjoyed following along with us. All of the details on where we stayed, where we ate, and everything you need to know from each of the countries we visited will be in the description box as well as my upcoming blog post. So if we have some time in Oslo, we'll probably stop at a store or two because we only got like maybe like five, out four or five hours to play around with, which isn't much if you're going on an international flight. So we'll see how much time we le have left. So I'll check back in in Oslo. everyone we are back at the airport in Oslo about to take our final flight home once again thank you so much if you made it this far into this vlog hopefully you enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave a comment below don't forget make sure you are following me on Instagram and TikTok make sure you are also following Abby she is the rich aunt on every platform Make sure you check us both out and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.